I thought eventually I would be completely bald and you know I wasn't looking forward to that. I definitely was wearing a lot more hats and then you know one day I was sitting in the chair at home Denise was doing my hair and she took the comb and she hit me on the head with it and she said I don't have anything to work with anymore. Do you mind if I see about getting you some new hair? You know, I wasn't so much embarrassed, but I definitely, I didn't like it. I, I was supposed to have my grandpa's hairline and he had a big full head of hair and a good hairline right up until he passed. So I was supposed to have my mom's dad's hairline. Somehow I ended up with my dad's and my dad's dad's hairline. It was just a great experience. By the time he was done giving me a new hairline, uh, designing it, I just, I was ready to go. It was like, and that was before the medication. And it was just, it was just a really calming, great pre-procedure experience. It's just a great experience all the way around. And I, th I think that goes for all great organizations, really. It's all about the people. And a lot of the times, the people are the result of the uh, culture at the top. And I feel like that is exemplified with PAI. It was based both upon, um, I think, you know, part of the driving force on that one was it was cost effective for us. We could afford to do it. And that was really important. And that's what made, you know, with the um, multi graft that we went with. That allowed us to go in once, this is one procedure, um, get it done and end up with the result like I have. I'm really glad I did it. Uh, it's, it's exciting and it's, it's, it's exciting. You know, there's days where I, I take it for granted and then there's days where I, like yesterday when I was flipping through some photos from 15 days shy of a year ago and um, I found a photo in there that was um, really uh, put things in perspective for me. It was like, and that was a surprise. I saw that and I was just like, whoa, who's that guy? <laughs>